are officially on the road. We're officially on the road. We just, our daughter met us and we got to say goodbye to her and God, it's hard. It's time to leave Montana. Yeah, it's cold. It, it is. is chilly. Mm -hmm. So we are scrubbing and cleaning and just getting stuff ready to hit the road again. We are. For our, as you say, our sixth season. Our, can you believe it? Yeah. Six. Oh my goodness. You guys have got to do this tour. That, <laughs> you know, I got to tell you guys, we're not much for guided tours. This one was amazing. Well, we officially made it. <laughs> Monument Valley, and this is Forest Gump Hill. This is where every, run up the hill. <laughs> this is where everybody gets their uh, their pictures. Forrest Gump was running, um, run Forrest run, <laughs> and he he was running on this hill. What a view! Oh, wow. What do you think? It's beautiful, <laughs> but I'm finding a little hard to breathe right now. <laughs> a little anxiety. Yeah, yeah, it's. We have a great spot though. I mean, the teardrop or the gooseneck is right here. Just don't go too far. <laughs> She's hanging onto my shirt. <laughs> I don't want him to fall off. <gasps> wow. That tire looks off, doesn't it? The little bearing's gone. So can you replace it with another tire or they have to replace the bearing? Yeah. So you got to take the tire off and just go in with two, two tires? It's my, it's my guess. We have some really good memories of, of this area and we were coming through and I looked at Kelly and I said, do you want to stop for Cajun food? I said, absolutely. So this is what you can do if you snowbird guys. I know. We're making memories. I, I just cannot believe we're here. I keep, I keep saying I just, it's so beautiful here and the water is so calm. It's just, wow, this is so cool. Yes, we wish you guys were all here. You missed the snow in Montana yet? Oh, heavens no. <laughs> are we having fun? We're having a blast. <laughs> we just got done with day four here at the Lion Energy booth. All right, 10 days in quartzite, and we are out of here. Out of here. <laughs> We've been waiting here for, what, three days to get a ride in? I know. We haven't had a chance to. We haven't had a chance to go ride for no, a ride. No. We'll go outside really quick to say hi to our friends, and then we both, we all run in to the house because we it's, it's cold. And wet. I'm going back. We didn't make it to the slot canyon. <laughs> We were a quarter mile away. I'm not going straight down a hill. Well, I don't do well on it's, hills. It's right over there. Where is it? Right over there. Three, two, one, action. Almost done with season six. It's crazy. Where'd the time go? Yeah, it just flew by, didn't it? <laughs> can't believe it's almost over. So for those of you that are new to the channel, we snowbird each winter. Why? Because we spend the summers up in Montana, northern Idaho, eastern Washington area. That's right. And we do a little bit of exploring while we're up there. Mm -hmm. uh, but for the most part, we just, we love Montana, we love eastern Washington, and that's where family is, and so that's where we stay. That's right. So we snowbird. What's a snowbird? A snowbird is somebody that leaves the North Country to get out of the cold and, <laughs> and head heads south, south for the winter. That's right. <laughs> That's why they call it a snowbird. Yes. And we are snowbirds. We have been for the past six, seven years, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we have. We're almost done with this snowbird season. Not quite. We're really close, but not quite. We've got some... Super close. Yeah. We've, we've, we've got some stats we're going to share with you because kind of surprised us, didn't it? It did. It yeah. did. I didn't realize how far we went. But we decided when we started this journey, we wanted, this was going to be our year of firsts. We wanted to do things that we'd never done before. Yes, absolutely. And boy, it's been a year of the canyons, all different That's kinds true. of canyons. Yeah. But we wanted to do a year of firsts because we have a tendency as human nature, I think we have a tendency to do things that are comfortable. 
Exactly. You don't go outside your comfort zone and 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 just travel far a little farther out than you're used to. Or something different. Yeah. As and as we discovered on Kelly's New Year's Eve resolution, <laughs> she doesn't like the unknown too much. I really don't. And I'm sure a lot of you are feeling the same way. I don't I don't like change. <laughs> and I don't like the unknown. So we have traveled. Again, we're going to give you the stats. We traveled a lot this winter. Yeah. And quite honestly, that's our style. We've done two types of snowbirding. We start when we first started out, our first winter out, we spent three months in the Rio Grande Valley in South Texas. And that's when we realized we don't like to be in one spot for three months. That yeah. was a lot for us. If we wanted to do that, then gosh, we, we should have bought a place down in the Rio Grande Valley and a place in Montana and yeah. just traveled and, back and forth. And called it good. Yeah. yeah. But we really like to travel. And, and I think we both agree, after two weeks, we start to feel a little itchy, yes. a little itchy feet. Yeah, it's, and after three weeks, it's time to move. Oh, three weeks is like, okay, we're way overdue yeah. <laughs> to get out. So we really like to travel. And one of the reasons that we really like to travel is that we get to make some memories um, while we still can. I mean, we're not, okay, we're old. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not, we're not too old to travel no, yet. No, no. And no, we we're both... Older. Yeah, and we both know that that day is coming when we're going to have to hang yeah. up the keys of the RV. For one reason or another, it's, you know, you just never know what next week is going to bring. So we're really trying to see as much as we can now while we're still healthy and we're still able to get out and do some things. And I'm going to say it while we're still young. Okay, good. <laughs> I like it. So we have covered, um, we left Montana October 15th of 2023. Yes, we did. We tell people that we need to get out of Montana by mid-October because anything after that, it's a coin flip as to whether we're going to have good roads or not. Yes, and passes. Yeah. So we left October 15th. We had a good part of our route mapped out. We knew so here's how we like to travel and, and you've heard us say, if you've been around very long, you've heard us say we like to make our plans in Jello. What does that mean? That means that we know a departure date and we know when we have to have a solid time to be someplace along the way. Right. In this case, we had to be in Tallahassee, Florida for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And we had to be in Paradise, Texas for Thanksgiving. That's true. That's very true. Yeah. Yep. yep. Yep, so there's two there was two two jumps there. There was leave Montana, Paradise, Texas for Thanksgiving, Tallahassee, Florida for Christmas. And other than that, we had no plans. No. Oh well other than quartzite. No. Oh we didn't even know then, did we? Yeah, that was kind of sporadic. But that's why we have it in Jello. So we can just say, Oh, we can do that because we have no other plans. Yep. Okay, we left October fifteenth. And the numbers show, and the last place that we've been is Pahrump, Nevada. Mm -hmm. So from Superior, Montana, down to North Texas for Thanksgiving, off to Tallahassee for Christmas, back west to Quartzsite yep. and Yuma, up to Parker, Wickenburg, up to Vegas, on to Pahrump. This season, in five months, guys, we put over 7,100 miles on the rigs in five months. We spent a little over $3,800 in fuel. That's not bad. And in in five months, we only spent 34 nights in an RV park, which cost us a total of $400. Wow. And that's because we had two weeks in with our 
um, Thousand Trails in Bridgeport. Yes, yeah. So, but 34 nights, total of 400 bucks, $3,800 in fuel, se over 7,100 miles by the time we got to Pahrump. So, I think we did pretty well. I think so too. And we, and of course we didn't, you know, usually people go like in a circle or a square. <laughs> we went, and then, and then, and people were like, why are you going back to Oklahoma and Texas? Because we have to see our kids. So let's talk about snowbirds a little bit and why we chose the route that we did. We have some very, well, we wanted to spend Thanksgiving with our daughter and her family. Yes. We have some very dear friends we've been friends with for years and years and years uh, in Florida, in Tallahassee, and we hadn't seen them in a while. We wanted to spend Christmas with them. Yeah. And we want to spend our snowbird season over or south of Interstate 10. And so that's what we tried to do. Yes. And if we want snow, we'll go to it. We don't want to run into it. Yep. Yeah. So we went to Tallahassee. We came back west. Uh, we went into Arizona, southern Arizona. We stayed a few nights in Yuma. We stayed a few nights in Quartzsite. We went up to Wickenburg, we, which we got rained on. Yes, we did. <laughs> uh, and then we went over to Parker for the race. We went back to Wickenburg to ride with some friends, and you had busted up ribs. <laughs> then we went up to Vegas thinking, okay, it's March. We can hit the Mint 400. Vegas itself was pretty nice. Yes. The race was pretty nice. But as soon as we went over to Pahrump, the weather got cold, and now uh, the, we put on the brakes, didn't we? Yes. We've had coats on ever since. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. There's no snow and so I'm good. I'm yep. good with that. The other thing we did while we were on this trip was mooch dock a lot. And if you're not familiar with the term, mooch docking is when you mooch electricity and or water and or sewer off of your friends that you're parked in their lot. <laughs> We did that a lot. We did mooch talk a lot. And we have the best friends because they fed us too. Yeah. So again, the reason we love this lifestyle so much is that we get to crisscross across the country and see not only family, such as our daughter and her family and our grandkids down in North Texas, we get to see um, some very dear friends along the way. We, saw, we stayed with um, our good friends in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. We stayed twice with our good friends in Mobile, Alabama. Oh, that's right. Yes. We stayed with our friends, as we said earlier, over Christmas in Tallahassee. And then on our way west, we had an opportunity to spend some time with some of our subscribers who have become very good friends, Rick and Kathy, up oh, near Wickenburg. Yes. I, I forgot. I forgot how many people that we got to see and visit. Yes. Yeah. It's been a great year. It has. And again, that's why we love this lifestyle, guys. This lifestyle allows us to put our home behind the truck, take it to wherever we want to go. And obviously our friends had space for us. They had yes. big, you know, big open areas for us to park in. Some had uh, electric and water. Some only had electric. Some had, uh, you know, it just, it just all depends. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we can go without ever, anything because yeah. we have so Because we're all self-contained, yeah. and that's the beauty about the RV is it's completely self-contained. We really don't need anything. We could just go in like we're going to boondock and kind of boondock in somebody's driveway or, or their spare lot next to their house. Yeah. And, and it works out extremely well. And again, those friends are south or over of I-10, and we can go visit them during the snowbird season. Exactly. So all in all, this has been... <laughs> This has been a wonderful season. Oh, absolutely. I mean, again, a season of firsts. We got to, we got to spend some time with off-road races, which we'd never done before. Mm -hmm. We got to, oh, and we got to, we got to hang out with our, with our friends, Randy and Bobby and, and uh, oh, Pat, Pat and Stacy. Yeah. We got to travel with them some. I, I can't believe how much we did in this little short time. Five months, guys. Yeah. Five months, and it's just been a blast. It was, it's constant. It was just constant, amazing fun. But again, that's our travel style. Everybody asks, well, why do you move so much? Because we can. Yeah, yeah. And exactly. we, we've got a lot of things that we want to see. 
Yeah. We got to see Gooseneck State Park. We got to see Antelope Canyons. We got to see Horseshoe Bend. We got to see, I mean, it's on and on and on. Off-road races. Uh, we got to go back to Vegas. Even though we don't gamble or party, we love watching people in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. It is fun. <laughs> it's fun. And we got to hang out with good friends. We did. We did. And wow. Made... I'm so happy. We just did. Because <laughs> I, I forgot about um, the um, Antelope Canyon yep. and, in Page, Arizona. Yeah. And uh, it just, wow. We did a lot. So if you've got any questions on snowbirding, or boondocking, or mooch docking, you know, uh, put a comment down below. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. We love answering questions. And let's talk a little bit about Pahrump. Why did we go to Pahrump? Well, I have a really good girlfriend that I've known since I was 18. And um, I hadn't seen her in four years. And it was just so happened that they were going to be there at the same time. And they have a side by side. So they took us all over and had a great time. Okay, so I'm gonna clue you guys in on Pahrump. We had a really good time in Pahrump, except for the wind yeah, <laughs> and the weather, the cold it was weather. Really, it was super cold there. And I'm gonna tell you, the layout of Southern Nevada, you, you're not gonna pass through Pahrump going anyplace else. That's got to be your destination. Yeah, it's a destination. Place. So it's a little difficult, but the riding was spectacular. Oh my goodness. We had, uh, we went out with Renee and her husband and, and some friends of theirs, uh, and Pat and Stacy and Randy Bobby, and we got up into the snow. We got up into 7,400 feet of elevation. Um, we got into some national forest trails. We got into some slot canyons. We saw wild horses and wild burrows. Yep. It was spectacular. So there's a lot to do in Pahrump, and, and maybe we'll share a little bit more of that if, if you're interested. But we left Pahrump, uh, and we started heading back east. <laughs> so we've actually put over 7,100 miles on our rig, guys. Um, we're actually starting back east. If you follow our Facebook page and group, um, you know where we're at, and we're, we have... We have a service appointment in Elk City, Oklahoma, because our microwave broke. Uh, we're going to head down and see our daughter and her family again in North Texas for Easter. It's kind of a tradition. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're going to start heading north to Montana as soon as the weather breaks. And those of you that are living up east and Midwest, you know the weather hasn't turned to spring yet. So <laughs> we're kind of watching Sorry. the weather. We've, we've got a few weeks before we're going to do that. But we wanted to share with you... Our recap, if you will, uh, of our Snowbird 23-24 season, because we just, we looked back on it, and I started looking at some of those videos trying to find some clips, and, and, and we had a blast. I, yeah, again, I forgot about all the other ones that we started with, so it was fun. It was a good time. Yeah. So, hey, guys, we do have a Facebook group. If, if you don't do Facebook, we completely understand, but if you do do Facebook, um, take a look at the Sweet Travels group on Facebook. Feel free to introduce yourselves there on that group. I mean, it's not just for us to post. Exactly. Uh, it's for you guys as well. Yeah. And, and we love to, to hear from you. Mm -hmm. and, and really, the reason we started that Facebook group was so that you could intermingle amongst yourselves. Yes. You could ask each other questions. I mean, sometimes we'll answer, obviously, but uh, maybe somebody else has got a better answer than we do. Yeah. And we just want you guys to get to know one another. And if, if any of you are looking for, to, you know, for a meetup with friends on the road or, or ask, have you ever been here or been there? Feel free to ask that on our, on our group. Yeah. Um, that's what it's there for. It's there for you. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about our YouTube channel for a sec. Um, we do this to, for our own memories. Yeah, right. We we go back as I said. I spent I spent a number of hours going through the footage, scrubbing through the footage of this last five months, and I just had to chuckle at some of the things. We had such a great time, <laughs> and it makes us smile, quite honestly. Uh, so that's why we do our YouTube channel. That's why we have our YouTube channel is is for our memories, and we get to share them with you. Now, um, we'd love to share with others on YouTube, and if if you, we had a comment uh, a couple of weeks ago yes. of a subscriber that said, hey, I don't know what happened, but I'm not getting notifications for you guys anymore. And I went on YouTube and they unsubscribed me from you guys. Yes. 
I was, I thought, what? I did, I've never heard of that. So anyway, so if you don't get a notification yeah. and you haven't seen us for a while, go back and look and see if you're subscribed to us because they may have... I don't know why. YouTube. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. But the thumbs up really do mean something on YouTube. That helps us share with others and it helps YouTube determine whether or not this might be good content for somebody with the same type of likes that you have. Yes. And leave a comment below. We love to hear your comments. Uh, as we said, we, we've met subscribers on the road. We've stayed with subscribers in their home. I mean, this is... This has just been a great journey for us, and we really appreciate you guys. I hope you understand how much we really appreciate you guys. So, anyway, we're having a blast. You got anything else to share with them? I don't think so. I think we've got gone through everything. Okay. Yeah. We just wanted to kind of recap our Season 6 uh, season because it was a special one for us. It we really, really had a good time. It really was. We did it. It was just... I cannot believe how much we did in just this little this little time. Yeah, it's been a blast. It and is. we've met so many great people this year as well. That, that's that been the big thing, is meeting so many of you on the road. And it just blesses our hearts. We just love it when you come up and say, I watch you. You know, we'll be at Costco or at the gas station. Yeah. And um, just, it, it really does bless our hearts if you do come up and say hi. You're not going to interrupt us. You're not going to upset us or anything like that. We We enjoy it. Thanks, you guys, for coming along. Thanks for watching season six with us. This has just been, this is this this whole journey has been a whirlwind of emotion for us, and we really do enjoy it. And we love having you guys along. We love taking you along. I know you guys say that you love coming along and you appreciate us taking you along, but we really love to have you guys come we along. We really do. It's such a joy for us. So yeah. let's wrap this one up. All right. Because... We got some service work we got to get done. We do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. From Elk City, Oklahoma. It all starts with an idea. Hey, guys, take those ideas and turn them into reality. It doesn't have to be a HDT truck. It doesn't have to be a, a, a big fifth wheel. It could be a, a, a tent trailer or it could be a, a, a pop-up or whatever. Just yes. take those ideas, turn them into reality so you can go out and make some memories. Because look at the memories we had just this season. I know. It's just, it's just been amazing. And go out and explore your own backyard. That's right. That's a big thing. You bet. All right. We'll talk to you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.